it sweet? It's hot. Bitter. Sweet. 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 you'll write about. And if you stick with it over the next ten weeks of the workshop, you will bloom, you will blossom, you will come out of yourself, you will express it, you will extemporize, because X, 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 everything will be X'd out. Do you mean the critical negation of the structure? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. What's your name again? Hilary Marie Byrne Connolly. Oh, well, Hilary Marie Byrne Connolly. Right off. Leave your baggage outside. There's no place for it in this workshop. You have to approach this with an empty cup. Explain. You know, the Zen thing with the cup, the cup of the conceptual mind. We're trying to empty the cup. Metaphor. Stop that! Please! But I... We don't do that here. We're here for the spoken word, the living word, the heaving, breathing, pulsating performance that grabs the listener by the throat or the balls of the heart. I'm talking about poetry. Real living poetry! Are you with me? Yes! Let's do it! Let's make real living poetry! Actually, I'm working on my PhD. Analytically deconstructing the real living poetry of the romantic imagery in late 20th century Irish verse. I've seen your type before, believe me, I know. I've been through it. Swallowing every morsel of the abstract conceptual bullshit squeezed out of the pinching speakers of other university arseholes. That is an overly harsh critique of academia. There has never been a great poetic voice that was purely academic. Well, I'm certain that a proper theoretical grounding is imperative to any genuine artistic pursuit Especially poetry. Your cup is spilling on the floor. Excuse me, what's your name again? Peter. Right, Peter. Well, I don't know about the rest of us here, but I haven't a fucking clue what you're on about. Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Is everyone else confused about this? What about you? Well, I... Well, well go on. Well, to be honest, I'm completely confused. <laughs> I thought that there'd be desks and books, not drums and instruments. There's no desks here, no books, no blackboards, not raising your hands to ask questions. You won't even need paper and pen here. That's not the way this works. This is different. It's like Socrates. We're not trying to put anything into you. We're trying to draw out what's inside you already. Okay? <laughs> okay. So basically it's a Socratic pedagogy using dialectics. What I'm really on about here is getting each of you in touch with your muse. Uh -huh. A goddess of inspiration. From Greek mythology. This workshop is about creating real living poetry. Living because it's spoken, it's performed, it's communicated live by you. Poetry brought to life by you. Brought to life, not left for dead on the page. I get it. Do you have an yeah. idea what the fuck is going on here? Well, I signed up to learn to write poems. That's what I told my husband anyway. Right. <laughs> because? <laughs> because I felt for a very long time that it's just something I feel I need to do. That's it! It is? Oh, yes. <laughs> What's your name? Margaret Daly. Mag. <laughs> Everyone calls me Mags. Except for my husband. He calls me... Forget it. Just call me Mags. Mags, there's a muse waiting to grab hold of you. There is? Oh, yes. I can see her! <laughs> and you? Where are you at? I'm Thea, and I'm a poet. A poet? Right. I've been writing for a long time now. I'm into kind of earth, spirit, Celtic visionary stuff. Are you published? No. But I've got stacks of poems and boxes, and I didn't know what to do with them until I went to one of Peter's performance poetry nights last month and had like a vision. Has anyone here been to one of them? No. I'm aware of these events. I saw some on YouTube. Right. <laughs> At this stage, I must have attended over a hundred poetry readings from legitimate published writers. Yeah, so have I. Over a hundred? Enough to know they're a complete poxy bore. It's the quality of the writing that matters. Yeah? Well, I only know what I know. And I know the performance stuff connected with me. This must have been the poetry of the Druids. Oh, God! <laughs> the Druids! I know they got up and performed all their poetry and stuff. Right, Peter? And it's not just the Druids, Theo. All around the world, for thousands and thousands of years, all poetry was spoken. It only became something down on the page with the printing press, which was like... 1440 Johannes Gutenberg. Right, 1440. That's just like yesterday. And at the same time, we were creating universities, and this whole other abstract written poetry thing began. And the system then let the performance of poetry just slip away. Until now, some academic 
arseholes don't even consider my poetry legitimate. Whatever you like. The truth is, legitimate poetry is essentially concerned with the written word, the text. Are you afraid my heresy is going to infect you? No. Uh -huh. I, I'm intrigued. What? Because my own writing has reached an impasse, a blockage, if you will. Since starting the PhD, right? Yes. So I wanted to reconnect with the muse, as you might say. And I thought that your unorthodox approach might prove beneficial. I promise you, Hilary. Give this a chance. <laughs> Empty your cup. Surrender to your muse, and it will. It will. Now, what about you? Why are you here? Me? Yeah, what's your story? My story? I'm Kelly, and I'm going to start studying English Lit. How old are you? 22. And you're only starting university. I wasn't well. Oh, I see. And what do you want? Words. I don't have any words. Do you have a heart? Yes. Does it beat? Yes. Then you have something to express. Okay? Okay. <laughs> and what about you? What about me? Well, <laughs> tell us a bit about yourself and why you're here. I'm Liz, and I'm here because my therapist says I should be here. Okay, that's it, that's me. Are you happy? Yeah, how about you? Are you happy? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to? It's too depressing. Of course. It just keeps going round and round in my head. Sure. My therapist says I'm obsessed. But God damn it. Right. He was such a prick to me. You wouldn't believe it. Can I smoke here? I'm dying for a fact. No, I'm sorry. I have to do that inside. Stop! <laughs> I just get so upset. Do you need to go out No, it's house? okay. Are you sure? No, it's fine. I'll jam it. Get on this. <laughs> Right then. Let's start. <clears throat> okay. Poetry is connected to music, so I'm going to get a groove going here. Now, who wants to get up and tell us something? Tell us what? Whatever you want, whatever you feel. Just go with whatever. 